I always begin by moving my king pawn out. E4. Let's say your opponent doesn't get to move. This is how you should develop your pieces. Your next move should be d4. Now this is only, of course, if black hasn't made another central pawn move to challenge that square. So now your e pawn and your d pawn control this whole area of the board. This is very important. And also notice how your bishops are wide open. They can slice into the game. Your queen is open. Your knights can come out. Having your pawns on e4 and d4 gives you an excellent central control. Next, I would develop my knight to f3. There's a saying in opening play, knights before bishops. So in many opening positions, you'll have a choice. You can bring out either your knight or your bishop. In those situations, usually you bring out your knight first. So knight f3. Next, you might play bishop c4. This opens up your king to be able to castle to the king's side. Notice all the pieces are moving towards the center of the board. I'm not playing moves like knight h3. I'm playing moves like knight f3, control in the middle. Now I might castle. My king is nice and safe. The f2, g2, and h2 pawns are in front of my king, guarding him. Very, very safe. 